Today we're going to connect an Arduino to Snap for Arduino uh, in order to learn how to program. And for this, we're going to need one of these Arduinos and an A to B USB connector. Uh, so it's best if you start off by connecting your Arduino to your computer. That way when you install it, the drivers get installed automatically. All right. So first off, uh, we're going to have these two web pages. Uh, you've got the Arduino web page, uh, and we're just going to go to the download uh, for the Arduino software. And you're also going to want the Snap for Arduino page at some point. But uh, we're just going to click on Just Download. You can contribute to Arduino later if you really like them. Uh, and the download is fairly large. So you might notice that uh, unlike the rest of Snap, which can be done online at the community website, that you actually have to download things for this. And the reason why you have to download things is that uh, you need to be able to connect to your Arduino via your USB port. And that's something that you can't do for a browser uh, for security reasons. All right, so uh, we've downloaded the Arduino software. And let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, and I've already read these terms before, and it's open source, and Arduino is a great program, so I wouldn't worry about it, just sort of agree. Uh, but it's going to take a little while to install, so while we do that, let's uh, start downloading from Snap for Arduino. Uh, and this one's going to go a lot faster. Um, and typically, uh, you wouldn't install two things at the same time because you don't want to potentially mess with your registry. Uh, but I, I happen to know that it will be all right in this case. Uh, so first things first, let's extract that out. Um, and I'm just going to extract it to my install folder and run the .exe that we just extracted. Um, so uh, Arduino IDE is letting us know that uh, it's installing the drivers. Uh, that's what that little pop-up was. Um, Meanwhile, Snap for Arduino is uh, installing. And uh, yeah, looks like Arduino is definitely going to be way behind in this. I wonder if I'll have time to make something. Well, clearly I am. So uh, you can see this little Arduino tab uh, in Snap for Arduino. Uh, and yes, we do definitely want our libraries. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's see if I can't make a basic Blink program before Arduino even finishes installing. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, a pin that uh, is going to go high and then it's going to go low. So true to false. Uh, and uh, we're going to put weights in between those of about half a second. And uh, that's going to be in a for loop. Uh, but we can't set our pins yet until the Arduino is fully installed. So uh, Arduino IDE just uh, finished installing itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, so that happens to be under Program Files uh, x86 if you're running a 64-bit computer, which you likely are. Uh, yeah, a little, little confused, but there it is. Uh, and you're just going to select Arduino.exe. And uh, you can, of course, allow the program to run. No worries about security here. Uh, so you can see that uh, we've got our COM port 18 Arduino, and that's already been set up for us because we had our Arduino uh, plugged in when we started. So we're going to just go ahead and go to Basics and Blink. And this is just a quick test to see whether or not the Arduino is working. So we're going to press the little upload button. And uh, taking a look at my Arduino, indeed, it is flashing. That's good news for us. The Arduino is working. All right. Now what? Let's, uh, let's go back to uh, Snap for Arduino and go ahead and try that out. This is, so in order to do that, we have to install Fermata. Uh, and we're just going to select Standard Formata, and that's a program that tells the Arduino do whatever any program tells you to do. Don't worry about using the Arduino IDE, just do whatever anything tells you to do. And so now we can go to Snap for Arduino, we can connect, uh, and it says, oh, we connected correctly. And then we can go back here and we can select our pins. That's great. Um, and we're going to select pin 13 and run. And indeed, uh, the lights are flashing. 
and that is a good sign. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that it's truly working and uh, by changing that wait time, our flashing has slowed down. All right, so that worked out great and go out there and make cool stuff, everyone.